Welcome to On Our Shelf. Let's see what our following has for us today. Let go, let go, let go, let go. All right, we got uh, the DualShock 4 for the PlayStation 4 wireless controller. Okay, so this is gonna be a quick look at the brand new Sony PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 wireless controller. So here's the box that it comes in. Let me turn it over to the back so you can get a good look at the back of the box. And let me go ahead and get my knife and let's go ahead and get it open. So we're gonna go ahead and make a cut on both sides and the box pretty much just slides right and out. And note that this wireless controller does not come with a USB charging cable and it will not work with your PlayStation 3 wireless charging cable. But when you get the PlayStation 4 itself, it'll come with the cable to charge these. So here's a look at the brand new controller. Now this controller is completely redesigned, but it still has that familiar feel to it. Now the first thing I noticed when I took out the box is where is the start and select button? That is no longer here anymore. Here's the bottom of the controller. And I must say, this controller feels really, really solid in the hands. Feels really good. So here's a look at your new layout. Everything still looks pretty familiar. Everything's still pretty much in the same spot. Um, buttons have been modified slightly, but you now have a share button. Your PlayStation button's down there. You now have an option button. X square, triangle, circle buttons are in the same spot. Your analog sticks are slightly modified. You have a touchpad with a speaker right below it. You now have an extension jack, and you also have a headphone jack next to that. Here's a look at the top of the controller. As you can see, your shoulder buttons have been modified as well also. You have your micro USB port on top of the controller as well, as well as your LED light bar. Here's a look at the back of the controller. It no longer has that flat, smooth surface. Now it kind of has more of a rough feel, so you can definitely get a better grip of it when you're holding it. And my first impressions are very positive about this controller. Here's a side-by-side -side look at this controller versus PlayStation 3's controller. And that pretty much wraps it up. So that has been an unboxing of the PlayStation 4 Dual Shock 4 wireless controller. Take care, see you guys in our next video, and thanks for watching. Okay, so here we have Killzone Shadowfall for the PlayStation 4. And what's so special about this is, well, it's for the PlayStation 4. It's not even out yet.